getting ready to align my car and the first step is to pull the car straight onto a couple of slip sheets I'm using a folded over trash bag that'll make it a little easier to turn the wheel back and forth without loading the suspension if you had turning plates that would be better but uh, this will work just fine for the at-home alignment I'm doing next thing I've done is I've laid out some tape with the protractor at approximately 20 degrees turned in either direction from straight so I'll be able to turn the wheel to do measurements for caster as you can see I've done this on both sides of the car now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wheel until it's in line with my 20 degree mark getting pretty close there and I can confirm a good measurement by using a straight edge you can see it's pretty pretty close to that 20 degree mark. Now I'm going to use a digital angle finder against the hub to measure the camber in this position. The direction is important so this is 1.6 degrees uh, positive camber. You can see it moves a little bit it must be between numbers so 1.6 or 1.75. Now I'm going to turn the wheel the other direction 20 degrees and I'll check again with the ruler to make sure it's straight now with the wheel turned 20 degrees the other direction I'll again measure camber this time it's 2.65 degrees negative so you can see a little arrow on the outside pointing up that means the top of the wheel is tilted in which is negative camber so now to calculate caster, I'm going to take the first measurement I took, I'm going to go with the 1.75. I'm going to take the second measurement I took, the 2.65, and I'm going to get the, the total difference between those. In this case, since one was negative, I'm just going to add the two together. And then i got to multiply that by 1.5 because of the geometry of what I'm doing here. And what I get here is I have 6.6 .6 degrees of caster. So that's taking the 175 positive and adding the 265 negative and then multiplying by one and a half and I get 6.6 .6 degrees of caster. That's what I have on this side right now. I'll have to repeat for the other side and then I can fiddle with shims to adjust it to whatever I need. Uh, and that's basically it. Now another issue that I have is that my garage, even though it's level left to right, it actually slopes a little bit toward the outside. You can see this bubble level is not perfectly level and it's actually off by half a degree. So if I measure 6.6 .6 degrees using this method, I actually have to subtract this half a degree that is contributing toward making it look like I have more caster than I do. So a 6.6 .6 degree measurement is actually closer to six. If you have uh, driveway that's off left to right which mine is and it's pretty level uh, it's a little bit trickier to compensate for that so try to get your vehicle on as level of a surface as you can but if you have off level front to back that's pretty easy to account for you can just subtract uh, or add depending on which way the car is pointed to get that final number